IGN's Comic-Con coverage brought to you by Death Race. In theaters August 22nd. Why don't you give us a little bit of uh, background on, on your take of The Punisher? Because we've seen them before, but this is kind of a, not a sequel, not a reboot. It's a, it's a brand new take, I guess. It is. It's, a, it's, a, it's like taking a complete fresh perspective on it and using solo, uh, solely the, uh, the Max series, uh, the Garth Ennis principal writing, Tim Bradstreet illustrations, the, uh, the, color, the color palette, everything, everything about getting that world right and also getting inside the man and really getting inside Frank Castle and, and uh, revealing what a dark character he is. You know, his, his tunnel has no light at the end of it. And um, <clears throat> it was one of the principal things that motivated me to actually get on board and, um, and, and bring it to it and called War Zone. And it's, there's, yes, there's the external war zone, but it's as much about the internal war zone of the man himself. And I was, um, you know, it's such, it is a, a very violent series. It's, it's, a, it's about violence and about violent people. But the, uh, the foundations for that are coming from, uh, from a, world, a whole world of pain. So really, you don't want people to actually want to be Frank Castle, but they're glad he's there and they can't wait to see what he does next. <laughs> now, were you... Uh familiar with the comic books. I mean, I'm sure you'd heard of the film, but what about the comic books, or did you go back to them and do any research, that sort of thing? I, I actually went back and read the whole, what was it, 50 or 52 uh, uh, series of the, of the whole Max series. And even the, uh, you know, the, 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 the earlier stuff, anything that was generically involved in, in what has led to the formation of who this, this interpretation of Frank Castle is. Because um, everything, uh, everything is relevant. Everything has will have points that we can bring in, and sure, sure enough, we did. We were able to bring uh, details and even lines directly lifted from the book itself, uh, stuff that wasn't in the first draft of the script. We were able to sort of um, uh, bring these out, but they came out in a in a very organic way. They're not like planted on. They're not like taglines or anything. They're they're actually coming from a place, and you know, it's a testimony to the writing. You can go to any one of the books and pick up a state of mind and a state of a state of place and um, it, it will have uh, a validity within within the, the telling of our story you know we really really have concentrated on making sure that uh, this Frank Castle lives and exists in his in this world